Hi everyone, welcome back for some more Buckle Gun content. And I'm saying that because we will be moving on to the next series with this upload uh, because we have a Armored Alliance product to open up. And unfortunately, I was not able to get hold of anything else but this because um, uh, this is all they had down at the local store. Door, no individual buckle gun in at the moment, but uh, as soon as they do um, arrive, I will be uploading uh, content on them. Uh, but uh, for the moment, we have uh, the Armored Alliance Baku storage case to look at, and we do actually get a buckle gun inside of here. Um, so uh, we'll have a quick readout of what. Um, is included in this uh, so we've got the uh, buckle storage which obviously um, and uh, the one buckle gun uh, two buckle cores and one character card and uh, you can see what that buckle gun is so uh, it is a uh, pyrus dragonoid and um, not much uh, other information there nothing uh, worthy of mentioning uh, so we'll get this opened up, uh, do a little bit of a comparison to the old storage case from uh, the Battle Planet uh, series as well as uh, the Battle Planet series um, Dragonoid. We'll get him out as well and uh, check out the difference between the two. And um, yeah, well, let's get stuck into it. Okay, folks, we're back and uh, we have everything unwrapped and out of the case. Uh, and I think uh, that'll be the first thing that we check out. And here it is our Armored Alliance Baku storage case. Um, I've got the old one uh, ready sitting behind there and... Uh, you can see it's looking pretty plain now compared with uh, the new one, which has this really nice engraved image of those elements included on it. And I'm um, just going to check the backs as well. So that's, we've also made a bit of a design difference there between the two. So really nice uh, sweeping design to that one. Um, compared to uh, these panels on the Battle Planet one. All right, well, next thing we will just make sure of is if there's any change to the storage. And uh, looks like we get the exact same amount of storage um, in the two, but we actually they've changed uh, where the buckle cores can be uh, placed in these so um, the battle planet one just has the one spot there and they've changed that um, to have the two spots uh, if you would like with these and it looks like uh, you can uh, place two um, stacks of cards in the new one as well if you'd like and last thing before we move on is I'd like to just make sure whether these two, there we go, they actually do, there we go. Uh, they do uh, still clip together. That's pretty awesome. All right, so you can have your, your Battle Planet on one side and uh, your Armored Alliance on the other. All right, well, Let's uh, check out those cards, buckle cores, um, and then uh, we'll move on to the buckle gun itself. All right, so we'll actually check out the buckle cores before anything else, and I've uh, pulled out the uh, 
Battle Planet version here. And um, I really like the change that they've made between the two. Uh, they've enhanced the size of that fist there and uh, it looks so much more vibrant with that new green background on it. Um, and I will flip it over and see uh, what difference we get there. And um, wow, uh, I love that as well. That uh, looks um, so much better in my opinion. Um, and I've managed to grab the exact uh, the exact same uh, buckle core, so uh, a plus 150B and plus 2 damage. And uh, our other one is uh, uh, minus 2 damage, so that one's a trap. And um, let's have a look at uh, the character card next. So here we go, uh, our Dragonoid Pyrus. And uh, I am once again going to grab the Battle Planet version. And uh, uh, we've got a change to the way that he is drawn, uh, as well as our buckle cores in the top corner there. And um, the major difference being uh, the battle power here. So Battle Planet 1, 200B, the new Armored Alliance uh, 1, 400 B and uh, a small drop in the damage, but that's negated by the fact that if you pick up uh, one of those fists, you get plus six to his damage anyway. And um, we'll get our buckle gun out now, and uh, we will compare him uh, with the Battle Planet one for a final time. And um, then uh, check out how to close him up and finish everything off with the test roll. Well, here he is, our Armored Alliance Pyrus Dragonoid. And uh, the design has actually thrown me a little bit. Um, it's, it's just something I'm not used to, uh, but it is growing on me. Um, as I mentioned before, I do have the old one for uh, comparing the two and um, uh, as you can see a lot more streamlined with the new one and uh, does his horn come out I'm guessing it would uh, there you go uh, that looks that looks a lot better with that out and um, uh, even the face has been streamlined and our, our hands are actually part of the mold, so uh, they've been taken out of the equation completely. And uh, there's our, our battle power stamp. And we get, we get this really nice um, uh, elemental stamp on uh, these new ones as well. Sweet. Um, let me see, we'll compare the two from... Uh, the back there and uh, also uh, we've got this hexagon hole up there so I'm assuming that's for uh, a battle gear attachment uh, which uh, confirms the fact that uh, these uh, hexagon holes in the case uh, would be for attaching battle gear um, as well so that's uh, nice to know. Okay, well, I'm going to have a go at uh, folding him up and uh, I'll put that down first. Then uh, I'm going to try the body and the legs next. Uh, I'm going to go to the head and oh wow. All right, well, that that uh, didn't take uh, much thought at all. That went together really, really quickly. Okay, well, um, well, we'll move on to the test roll phase, and um, we'll end our video. We are all set up for our test roll now, and uh, just line my buckle gun up. I'll we'll see how many goes this takes. And uh, here we go. Oh, just the one. And uh, 
Looks like I pick it up on the bottom side. And, well, there we have it. Uh, tell you what, I am actually really impressed with these Armoured Alliance buckle gun. Uh, they seem like they're really well thought out. Uh, as I was saying before, the designs are growing on me. Um, and uh, just got to get used to the change. But uh, that uh, won't take long. All right, well, that is it from me. I hope you liked the video, and until next time, enjoy the rest of your day.